What's up boys and girls, welcome to Digestion Bro Science! Yay! Today we're going to be talking about... The cow! Because their diet is so narrow, cows, among other ruminants, are highly specialized. For example, cellulose, a carbohydrate found in cell walls, can be broken down by ruminants with cellulase, an enzyme that breaks down cellulose. Other organisms, for example humans, however, don't have cellulase, hence we can't digest grass. Most notably, cows have a four-chambered stomach, although it is commonly known as four stomachs, it is actually one stomach that has four chambers, which we will discuss now. The rumen is the biggest of four compartments, being able to store 25 gallons of stuff. It has multiple sacs. The rumen serves as a storage or holding tank and fermentation vat. The rumen's microbial community digests and ferments the food. The reticulum is a pouch-like structure. The tissues are arranged in a network resembling a honeycomb. Heavy or dense food and metal objects eaten by the cow drop into this compartment. The reticulum lies close to the heart. Nails and other sharp objects may work into the tissue and cause hardware disease. The omosum, the, 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 this globe-shaped structure, also called the mini plus, contains the leaves of tissue, like pages in a book. The omosum absorbs water and other substances. Abomasum, also known as the true stomach, is similar to what mammals have, thanks to hydro hydraulic acid and its digestive enzymes, which are necessary for the digestion of feeds. It prepares the food for absorption. The small intestine finishes the most of the dig digestion. Here, nutrients are absorbed into the blood and lymphatic systems via the villi. Se the sesum. The second sesum is located between the small and large intestines. Here previously un undigested fiber gets broken down. The large intestines is a part of the digestive system. Water absorption is the main digestive activity that takes place in the large intestines. When he first bites the grass, instead of chewing, the cow usually swallows it. The grass then reaches the rumen in which digestion continues and the cud is then sent back into the mouth where it is chewed, hence the rumination happens. It is then sent back into the omasum where water is absorbed and then into the abomasum and finally to the small intestines, then the caecum and finally the large intestines. We hope you enjoyed, see you later, stay digesting.